guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today we will discuss chapter 2 chapter 3 of class 10th so uh, uh, pre in previous videos we have learned that, uh, we have discussed that what is metal and what is non metal and the, we have discussed that what are the properties of metal till 6 now we will Uh, discuss next properties of metals now our next property is uh, electrical conductivity electrical conductivity is a good conductor of electricity means uh, that a metal which is good conductor of electricity they conduct electricity because they are having free electrons okay so silver is a best conductor of electricity because it conduct electricity in few seconds only so the, so silver is the best conductor you can write in notes so let's do an activity which shows electrical conductivity so this is my electric circuit and you can see here is a bulb a motor a, a motor sorry a battery wires and a safety pin you uh, you ask me the question that why this safety pin is in electrical circuit electric circuit i have used this pin as a metal in this circuit as you see here is no wire connection and when i connect this pin with the each other wait i am connecting so the bulb will glow you can see the bulb is glowing so why the bulb is glowing because metals are good conductor of electricity and here the this pin works as switch also so i think you understand this whole you can make this electric circuit at your home with waste material so i think you understand electrical conductivity so as we pre- perform this activity from this we uh, have conclusion that the metals are good conductor of electricity and because of this that metal are good conductor of electricity they are used in making wires like copper wires aluminum wires so i think you understand now our next point is uh, thermal conductivity means the metals conduct heat also means they get uh, uh, heated okay so uh, best conductor of uh, heat is uh, silver and copper they conduct uh, in few seconds but poor conductor of heat is uh, lead and mercury so with the help of this activity you can better understand that uh, metals are good conductor of heat as you can see that uh, we have put a uh, drops of wax in a metal rod this is a thin metal rod black color and these are wax drops so and uh, this is our burner and if we burn uh, we start burning from here this part the metal is good conductor as you, we know so the metal will uh, get heated up and uh, this wax also get heated up and uh, if metals are, are not good conductor of heat then the the wax will not get heat up but uh, here the wax has got heat up and uh, the uh, wax drops are uh, dr- down yes you can see so as uh, uh, i think you understand this diagram also so 
our next property is sonorous our next property is sonorous so what is sonorous sonorous is a, a property of metal which in in which that metal produces sound matter produces sound is known as sonorous as you can uh, you try to ring the bell of a temple you hold on so an example of sonorous is a temple bell because it is the property of that the metals are means metals produce sound is a sonorous or sonoristy or sonorousness so i think you understand these so now we will discuss the properties of non metal uh, non metals are opposite of metal okay so you can easily make point only you have to learn only one property metal properties or non metal properties so our first property of non metal is that they found in all three forms solid liquid and gas mostly they are in gaseous form okay in your room the there are so many gases uh, that is carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen etc so the uh, as uh, you can see that uh, these all are in gases form and they are non metals okay all the gases are non metals so our next point is that maximum solid non metals are soft except diamond because it is made up of carbon it means that uh, uh, in non metals uh, all the metals are which are in solid form they are soft but except diamond which is the hardest hardest substance in world it is a, a non metal and it is in solid form and it is hard but all the non metals which are solid they are soft so i think you understand that gray, uh, the diamond is non metal but it is only one non metal which is hard and uh, for extra information diamond is made up of which non metal carbon okay so our next point is that uh, they have no luster means except diamond iodine and graphite these three non metals are having luster but except these three no non metal are not having luster okay not having shine okay so our next point is that the non metals are having low melting and boiling point as maximum of the non metals are gaseous in form okay i think you understand these four points so our next point is that uh, they are bad conductor of electricity non metal are bad conductor of electricity so uh, except uh, uh, graphite all these are uh, bad conductor of electricity and i am showing you some example of carbon now you can see this is a diamond bangle so this diamond bangle is made up of carbon because uh, uh, diamond is made up of carbon and these small small beads are made up of diamond so this is uh, made up of carbon we can say and i am showing you this uh, wait uh, as you can see this is kajal which we uh, uh, apply on eyes so you can see this is kajal which is made up of carbon okay so and one more example i am having this is graphite 
and you are familiar with this box because most of you are having this box because in pen pencil this uh, these in this leads are there and the pencil leads are used in the pen pencil and mostly you are having this box because of pen pencil so graphite is also a type of carbon and and the graphite is means the pencil lead are made up of graphite okay so now our next point is that they are poor conductor of heat also they are poor conductor of heat also and poor conductor of electricity also okay i think you understand now i am doing an uh, uh, activity or uh, i have make an uh, electric circuit and now we will discuss with the help of that uh, electric circuit so let's go so now this is my electric circuit and when uh, uh, firstly you should know that this plastic uh, piece is also made up of carbon okay and when i apply this at the socket at this means uh, i have put as like switch the bulb will not glow you can see the bulb is not glowing wait okay but if we put i put these leads of pencil wait they are they work as switch also so when i joint these with the, the uh, with the socket or with the wires the bulb will glow you can see the bulb is glowing so i have told you from this activity you are familiar that graphite are good conductor of electricity but they are non metals but this all this is also a not metal and this is also a carbon but some carbon particles are a good conductor of electricity and some are not a good conductor of electricity like this plastic rod so i think you understand the concept of properties of non metals so the next property is that malleability and ductility means they cannot be they cannot be converted into thin sheets or wire means they are not ductile and they are not malleable okay so uh, i think you understand this point also and they are having low density they are have means they are not heavy okay so so i think you understand all the parts and properties of non metals and metals so today for today this much only and please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon and if you like my videos so share it more and more and comment me the doubts so uh, this much only bye for now